Moomish at the tail end of midwinter's tide here and about to get into spring's imok. So um, a lot of people celebrate spring when it's the vernal equinox, as I've said before. That means the middle of spring. You can't have the middle and beginning of spring at the same time. So the thing with sp spring, when spring begins, literally, is when the bulbs start waking up. See that? So the, the first of August here in Australia is basically our spring zimok. So this is my rhubarb that's waking up. Um, I've got some lilliums bulbs which have come to the surface in pots that means they've moved up so there's a bulb there William. Um, so you'll actually start to see some noticing you'll start to notice as well some stirring of the 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 bushes and trees that have gone dormant in winter that is my gooseberry uh, Yosterberry. Gooseberry is part of the, the cultivar of that, that species of bush. Um, also, little changes in the birch tree, the bicholum. But you, you'll just notice like the little bulbs. Now, if you were to wait to do your spring crap at the vernal equinox, middle of spring, you've lost six to eight weeks of cultivation, preparation, and organizing what you do in spring so this is why it's important it's to do this is my peach tree it's to do with the timing of the seasons to um, where we move as the planet moves it's nothing to do with cults or religion in Europe in the Western tradition which is basically ethnic European we um, had our festivities etc all around these changes of seasons so we wouldn't starve in winter we are preppers we, it's in our blood to be prep because if we didn't we basically wouldn't survive the hard winters so here's another yosterberry you see the buds there swelling so the thing is with spring zimok you can literally imagine frost and ice but this ground when you put your hand on it it's warming so it's like I know like the fire in the soil is warming up so things are definitely stirring up and I'm excited um, I want to just get some gardening things done in preparation uh, this this week but no I mean today this week gone um, so here's one of my rose bushes look at that see the stirrings so spring zimok we're here if you're in the southern hemisphere do your spring shit now um, uh, the caveat on that is you need to wait till the the frost the last frost goes before you do anything with frost sensitives so one of the things also in that in that note so here I've got my katira nipita my catnip can you see these beautiful fresh squidgy leaves and then you can see the the thinner you know, um, frost has killed me leaves at the top. It's so tempting to cut all the dead shit, all the scrappy stuff, and have this beautiful foliage underneath, but don't. Hold off until the frost is gone. The frost is gone after my succulent there. Hold off, wait till the last frost, and then you can clean up. Um, when is the last frost? It depends on the zone you're in, the region, um, and, you know the the nuances of the area you're in uh, once you've lived in a place for one or two years you can pretty much diary and ascertain when the last frost is um, Manipura which has had better days is also stirring but yeah I'm excited I just I you know I, it feels like I've been doing an uphill battle since I've moved here and I love my plants and animals and it's all I want and I just don't feel like I've been able to do as much as I've wanted. Um, it's been really hard. Um, also being distracted with all the crap I've had to go through with the property management. Just, you know, like putting me through crap basically. With stuff that should have been done, not done. And then dragging it out and having to take them to court. And oh, it's just, 
it's just been don't want to repeat it that's for sure so here we've got as well some frost damage on my bay laurel so tempted to trim and clean but there is no point until the last frost is abated um, but what do you do so I'm extremely keen to finally get a lot of gardening done um, my greenhouse is gone again etc etc stuff that makes me happy is my plants and my ducks I love my ducks <laughs> and gun yeah, I love my gun look at these sparrows they're like oh, are we gonna get in your little fatty yeah you've had your last free brunch that's for sure come on to you come on to you oh we're doing the head bobs Freya manners yeah don't pick on your brother freak wants to surf boys these three freak <laughs> he's not got he's actually trying to jump on fawn not to have a go on him but he, they do cuddle each other no, no homo they just like to cuddle each other sometimes it's so cute um so this is a bed here that i've been slowly putting together using the hay and the sawdust from my bird's bed every night and when I scoop out the runs it's, it's been fantastic um, I just need to remove this old door frame which is part of the hard rubbish that was already here yeah grand isn't it um, but here's a, my birch the ducks love this fountain in the middle I'm pretty much going to do a, a herbal ground cover with some stepping stones so here I've got some thyme, some weeds in between which I'll get rid of when it's not so cold um, aloes are pretty good with ducks ducks don't really because of the sharp edges they tend to not you dig around too much if our other succulents I'd be gone because the ducks would love to eat them Aww. Um, I've also got, so I've got the peach tree, I've got verbena, I've also got uh, uh, the fuchsia, and another fuchsia here. I'm going to put some more aloes in here, but definitely going to do a herbal ground cover. Now I can't wait to finish doing the, the rest of this tree, planting up those three elderberry trees, and extending it all the way down, cleaning it up, getting rid of these planks here, pulling it apart, was from last person actually cleaning it up you know despite everything I've gone through this property um, I really want to be able to complete and finish the gardening before I leave even though they don't freaking deserve all the shit they've put me through I, I know I've done the honorable thing and the right thing by doing what I've set out to do um, of course I'm not going to leave all my plants here but you know I mean elderberries are so easy to cultivate I could be growing hundreds of them still have elderberries to take with me no matter where I go so basically I will be at some point cataloging the plants that go with me everywhere and then making then also propagating cuts of those plants or seeds of those plants to stay here sort of thing and that's how I do it this this run here is going to be basically housing my my um, stock plants which I take with me that are potted at some point but anyway when I redo the, the chook run especially but I've still got a couple of years I'd say aim to finish my natural medicine and applied animal science and um, also finally get learners and even if I don't get a car to at least have my P's or license I can hire a car sort of thing to get out I want rural Real rural to get further out. I don't want neighbours unless they are a cow or a sheep. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Done. But it's a bee and a merry part and yeah. We get there. So shall we. All the head bobs. <laughs>